the Parker Strip, one of the most notoriously famous rivers for vacation, and also one of the most dangerous. In fact, your bone insurance will lessen if you promise never to go on it. I guess nobody ever told these guys that. That, or they simply just don't care. They're about to make a long run on one of the most dangerous rivers in the state of Arizona to see who's dominant, not only in speed and power, but in sure will. This is the Enduro Run. How fast will your boat go? How good a driver are you? But most importantly, will your boat last? How long can you drive it until it breaks and you're out? Crews from all around the country, from both in and out of state, come and gather here to see who's the baddest. There are different classes of boats from low to high, but they all run together and they all run insanely fast. They all start out fast and quick with guns blazing, but one by one, little by little, they all drop like flies until a few remain. Whether it's status, tradition, ego, people stick giant motors inside these small boats in effort to win. Let's see who pulls it off. Meet Gil, driver for Fallon Marine. They, along with everybody else here, prep to get their boat ready while the first few events take place. Each team has a pit crew and a stage setup. All boats have a set of standards and safety checks before they're even allowed to touch the water. Before the main event, a few boats get out early to do something equally as epic, but much more terrifying. Being towed on skis at 100 miles an hour is their way of saying, if you thought that stuff was epic, try this. With the ski race done now, most boats come in and re-pit to get ready for the enduro run.
at the beginning, all the boats on the water going that fast make a lot of wake and a lot of turbulence, so a lot of boats can't go as fast as they would like. The yellow boat, number 333, is the lead boat that blew across everybody and immediately took lead despite the turbulence. Hot on his tail is the Nordic boat, the incumbent from last year who won, who is now down laps, but looking to catch up quick. The passes get faster and faster for this boat. But go fast boats need a lot of gas, and so pits are inevitable. Mandatory two pits per each team. One by one, each of them start coming out, and some actually come out for good, never returning. With our second pit down, the water gets calmer as boats start dropping, like flies, more and more in the pits that never return to the water. If you see some smoke on the water trailing, it's not a good thing. You just hope it's not yours, because the true mark of an enduro boat is not just how fast it goes, but how long it will last. How long will you last? How many laps will you get before your boat finally breaks and you go home crying? There's only a few select boats out on the water now. So the water is much calmer and they can go a lot faster. So now nobody's holding back. They're pushing their boats for broke, and that's when you see a lot of them die. But there's another factor. If you can get enough laps before your boat dies, you can still win, even though people in your class are still in the water. It is about how many laps your boat can push through before it finally tanks. Checkered flag will be flying. It broke. Oh man, you guys are killing it. I got you guys hair pitting around that bullet. Whoever. Whoever, which one was it? You? Man, you can drive. You can drive really good. <laughs> So for Milestone's race in this race, Gil actually made it to the checker flags, one of the few boats. But right when he made it, his motor started knocking and then eventually started killing out and died. Hey, you can end this one, so go back. 
Yeah. Yeah, come give me a pirate's den. I'm gonna try and limp it over there, but it just died. started missing paint and gel coat toward the very back but that was the only thing it was really in the water the rest of the boat was out of the water the lower unit all the hardware was loosened it was only held on by a few screws the rest fell out and really he almost lost his whole lower unit that was the only thing holding it to the head we don't know what other problems the boat has but at least it's on here and safe and it made it a lot of time and money spent for things to break but as many would tell you that's racing what are you doing Huh? This is tech, so now basically they go through, they lift, lift all the boats, they just inspect the motors, make sure that nobody was doing anything that was um, not a not okay. That motor right there, that's a really cool motor. Yeah? That's putting out like 300 horsepower. Very, very neat to make that much horsepower out of such a little block. But, you guys should do it. Yes. He needs more horsepower in his life. I know, right? Everybody needs more horsepower in their life. Now they're gonna check. Wait. Now that we finished, they're gonna check the weight and they're gonna check other things to make sure our performance was legitimate. And once they determine that, which they will, then we're good to go. Before we end this video, let's take a look at the winner. It was first in this class and first overall. You guessed it, it was this beast. It was killing it out there. Not only was it as fast as anything out there, but it was tough as they came. It did the ski race earlier before anybody else started the main race, and then it came back in the main race, and that lasted pretty much all boats out there. Not only that, but it was really fast. It had ridiculously fast passes. It was stuck behind the 333 yellow boat for a long time, as that one had a massive lead over everybody else in all classes, but then it eventually died 60 to 70 percent of the race in, and we never even saw it return to the ramp. And this boat just took over and dominated. Nobody could catch it. It was lapping people, splashing people, it's doing what it did best. Nordic is notoriously one of the most successful boat manufacturers out of Lake Havasu for high-end go-fast boats. They were the winner last year and they were the winner this time around as well. It was extremely fast, did the most laps, and it didn't die. Congrats Nordic, well done. Who was any of you driving the boat? I got really good footage of your passes. They're the fastest by far. Yeah. We were wondering if you were even legal out there, telling you it was fast. <laughs> but you just started getting going. Clay designed that boat. I don't know. I don't know. He's he was he's like you know what he. We just before? we just thought we were watching yeah. you. Ray is a wrench. Ray's a wrench on the boat. Ray wrenches on the boat. Clay designer. Designer. Ray's the designer. You the designer? Yeah, here he no, fishes off is. of it. That guy fishes off of it. See by the hat, he's a fisher. <laughs> okay, a lot of nonsense. And that's Randy Davis <laughs> selling okay. the boat right there. And uh, there's uh, three drivers. Oh, there's three drivers that yeah. made it? Yeah. Sweet. Oh, well, heck yeah. yeah. Pulled off another win. Yeah, fantastic. That's awesome. Congrats, guys. Appreciate it.